to my channel and happy September. I cannot believe that we are finally in fall mode. I know fall is not till towards like the end of September, but I'm super pumped and I'm ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna be walking you guys through all of my fall home decor that I have. Some new things from this year that were in my last video, which was a fall decor haul. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll leave it linked down below. And then I'm gonna show you all the other stuff that I've kind of collected. And then I thought it'd be fun to walk you guys around the house and just kind of show you where I'm thinking about putting certain things and kind of what my ideas are. So if I'm walking around the house and you guys have any great ideas for home decor pieces I have and you think I should use them in a certain spot, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from all of you. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you're new. And let's get right into it. All right, so the first um, section that I laid stuff out here on the floor is rugs, tablecloths, table runners. So this is the only fall rug that I have. It is really, really old um, and it is an indoor rug. I also have downstairs a buffalo check rug that looks like this, except it's in black and white. And that pretty much works for all seasons. So I do have plenty of decor that will kind of tie all this stuff together. So even though this is the only fall rug that I have, um, you know, I think it'll still work. I probably won't get another one this year. And then I've got this table runner. This is the like Buffalo check pattern. I believe I got this last year. And then there is another table runner in here that's more of like a regular plaid. This is like a plastic tablecloth in here too that was still in pretty good shape. I think I had, I think I had bought it to do like Friendsgiving and then we ended up not having it because of COVID. So um, I just saved it and we can use it this year um, if we decide to do something like that. Um, and then moving over this way, I have this little guy, which I have used like, I've used like little vase filler things in there before. I don't, I may or may not use that. These are all of my signs, like fall signs and stuff, like basically anything that has words and stuff on it. Last year I had this cute little sign in the bedroom and then I don't know as if I put this out. I may actually take this to my classroom it's super cute um and then I love this one because it is double-sided so this one says welcome autumn and then on the other side it says gather together and I believe this is like a tar target dollar spot item like several years ago so um that has held up really well I got this fall sweet fall I think that's a Hobby Lobby find and then a couple of other signs here I love the football one I kind of wish that I had some more football themed things and they had a bunch of stuff this year at Hobby Lobby that was like all football themed things but I'll have to go back and take a look and see what they've got because I am a big football lover my fiance is a big football lover we are all about football so we'll just kind of have to see I might add to that since this is the only like football thing that I have and then, so moving over this way, I have this um, one kind of like arrangement, um, faux arrangement that I got. Oh gosh, where did I get this? I want to say Home Goods. I'm not sure, but this is just like one faux arrangement that I have. I've got this little, I think it's supposed to be um, like for a candle in the middle for like a centerpiece. I did use that last year on either the tiered tray or something. I may have put a candle in the middle, but it's got these little like pumpkins on it. Super cute. And then I am so glad I remembered this. So last year it seems like Hobby Lobby's little stands were kind of more matte. And then this year they look a little bit more shiny, but I did, I did chip this last year and I had like re-glued it so I went to get another one to replace it. They're not like exactly the same finish. So I may use like one of these in the bathroom and one in the kitchen, but I like to put my dish soaps and hand soaps on them. Just kind of like a cute little way to display them. And then also because my dish soap gets like wet on the bottom, I don't have to put it like back on the granite. It just sits like on top of the stand and then I can wash this off. So there's that. And then the next section I have, of stuff here you guys oh my goodness I have a lot of pumpkins okay but like keep in mind I know this looks like a lot but I feel like it's not that much when you consider I put pumpkins in like every room of the house and I want different sizes different colors different textures 
and all that good stuff. So I've got a ton of varying sizes. Seems like this one right here is the biggest one that I have. And then I've got like another orange one. A lot of neutral tones. I'm all about the neutral tones, the browns. These are my new um, woven ones that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. Got some white ones. And then in these bags, I'm not gonna take like everything out, but you can kind of see it through the bag. I've got some buffalo check ones. I've got some plain white ones. I've got ones with like gold on them. There's pine cones, acorns. This is like basically vase filler. And then I've got a whole bunch of this vase filler that I used last year. Some of it I've made um, like a wreath. I'll try to like insert like a little clip of what that looked like. I use some of these to kind of like DIY my own wreath. But you can use these as actual vase filler. You can use them in a tiered tray. I did that last year too. And then I've got like these few little small items I got from Hobby Lobby this year for my tiered tray. So I kind of like to do a combination of like this kind of stuff, some of the vase filler, a couple pumpkins on a tiered tray. We'll kind of play around with that when it's time like to decorate and stuff. And then over here, I have some, not a lot. I don't know why I thought I had more than this. I've got these sunflowers. These are kind of fall-like, but honestly, they're really more summer since sunflowers. Like, you can have sunflowers into September sometimes, but, you know, they're mostly gone by summertime. And then I've got a couple of these that I got from Target last year. And this one's, like, bent, so I must have, I must have, like, had to bend it to put it somewhere. But this is kind of, like, a burgundy color. And then these ones are a little bit more muted, um, like fall foliage. And if you guys watched my last video, my shop with me, they had some more of this stuff at Target this year in like other colors and other textures. So if you got some stuff last year like this and you're looking to add to it, then I would definitely um, check out Target. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys, this is pretty much all my decor, but I also have like some like pillows and I think I may even have like a couple of blankets that are fall like but here's like another quick little overview of what we're working with really not as much as I thought I mean I know the pumpkins is a little bit excessive but again I use them all over the house I can stretch this decor pretty far but let me show you guys what pillows and I think it have at least one or two blankets so let me go grab those and I'll show you what those look like so I came downstairs and I'm in the studio now because I needed to pull all this out so I could show you. These pillows are pretty good size, but this is really all I have in terms of fall pillows and fall blankets. This um, blanket my cousin gave me and it just, it obviously screams fall just because of the colors and everything, but I also have some blankets that have like buffalo check or more neutral um, tones that can kind of work for all seasons. So I will definitely put my Buffalo check, uh, blanket out, but I usually keep that out all year round anyway. And then this pillow, I know I used on my bedding last year, so I might use it there again, just cause it's like a nice statement pillow. And it's also double-sided. So both of these pillows are double-sided. You could, if you wanted to use the side that just has, um, the print on the back instead of the side that has the words but this pillow I think I got last year at um, Sam's Club actually so it's a pretty good size pillow and then this pillow I've had this one for a while I'm trying to remember where I got that one from maybe maybe home goods but anyway like I said I've got some other blankets that are a little bit more neutral that kind of work with this stuff too but yeah, I think I'm definitely going to need a couple more, maybe even like smaller pillows. Can't believe I'm saying that. I hope Jack isn't like listening to this video because he will probably kill me because I'm obsessed with pillows and I know I don't need any more, but I just feel like, I feel like two's not enough, right? Like two, two's just not enough. I don't know. I also have, so in addition to a Buffalo check um, blanket, I also have two Buffalo check pillows, just neutral. Again, I can use them for all seasons, but they are always in my living room. So that will tie in really nicely. So there are ways I can get around not buying another pillow, but I'll just keep my eye out for one that's like on sale or something.
All right, so one of the spaces that I will be decorating is the bedroom. And to be honest, I don't do a whole lot in here. I do have that pillow that, like I said, I think I put like right here on the middle of the bed last year, just kind of like for a nice pop of color. And then probably with any like leftover decor and stuff, I will probably bring some things over here to decorate the dresser because right now it does look very springy and summery. So I'll probably change out like a few little decor pieces here and there. I still have my, this is like my spring and summer room freshener that I always use. This is the Mrs. Myers um, room refresher. This is the lilac scent and I don't have any for fall. I do have like a pine scented one for Christmas that I love, but like I haven't used all of this. So I'll just put it away and then save it for you know, spring, summer next year, try to get several seasons out of it. Uh, we'll probably put like a fall candle up here instead of this one and then maybe change out like some of the greenery and stuff to make it look a little more fall like. And then probably same thing over here. I just keep like a lot of jewelry and stuff. So that's probably honestly everything in the bedroom and everything that I'll be doing mostly upstairs. So let's go downstairs where the majority of the decorating happens. Okay, so I didn't show you guys my fall wreath because it is tucked away in the like attic space and I don't go in there, so I usually make Jack go in there <laughs> and he'll get my fall wreath out for me. But I got this wreath from Target and it was to kind of tide me over from summer into fall. So maybe I'll leave it up on the door for a little while longer until it is like truly autumn and then I'll switch it out for the one that has more orange and stuff in it. But I love this just because it's super neutral and it really is like a great transitional wreath. And then down here I have um, I won't take you guys outside today but I do have just like a regular welcome mat out here I will probably keep and just sweep off out here and add some like pumpkins and mums and stuff for fall when I do the outside and then I have been using this which is technically an outdoor mat but I've been using it inside just to help with like when my piano students come in I don't like them tracking in any dirt and stuff on their shoes so I have them just like wipe their feet off and I love this and it's in great shape so I'm going to just save it put it away and then reuse it for next season so I've got a couple of ideas for what I might want to put here maybe that other half circle um, like indoor mat that I have would look great here or by the back door so like I was saying I may need to get another fallish looking rug just because that one I've had for I think six years I was telling Jack this like the other day that I think I've had that rug for six years. So might be time to get another fall rug. All right, so as far as the living room and the mantle goes, I have, of course, lots of ideas for this space. Um, I do like to keep it pretty neutral and then add in some pops of fall here and there. I will probably keep the greenery for now and then add in the pumpkins and stuff just to make it look more fall-like. Um, I do kind of like using things for multi-purpose so I can add pumpkins and pine cones and just make that look a little bit more fall. These pieces over here are fairly neutral, so they will probably stay, but I might switch up like where they are on the mantle. And then like same thing with this little water spritzer I have, but the little pitcher and the flowers will probably go and then you'll see a lot more like oranges and things like that. But let me know if there's anything in that stuff stockpile that I have that you think would look good here. And then I'm pretty content with what's in the fireplace. I had mentioned before in one of my videos how I really want to board this up completely just because the cat does not seem to stay out of it. Um, I think I, we have a pretty good system right now. She doesn't really get back there too much. I blocked off as much of it as possible. So we'll just have to see. The basket will stay. I will probably add either the buffalo check pillow or something in there to make it look a little more fall-like. And then... Over here on the blanket ladder is where I will probably add that fall blanket just to make it look a little more festive. And then moving over this way onto the entertainment center. The lighting is like really bright in here today. Um, over here on the entertainment center, I'm not really 100% sure what I wanna do with this space because the lantern will probably stay and I can probably do a few things down at the bottom. But let me know if you guys have any suggestions. I don't like to put a ton of stuff on this because I do. I just don't like clutter. And the simpler, the better. So maybe inside the lantern here, I could do along with the candle that I don't ever really light. It's just kind of for decor, but maybe I could do some like pumpkins and stuff in there. Let me know what you guys think. And then over here, this is the only side table that's in the living room. So I'm just gonna take off the spring and summer stuff, the candle and the flowers. And then we'll see what ends up ends up kind of like fitting in this space. I also really like the idea, and I had at one point something under this table here, like another 
basket or something like that. So let me know, let me know what you think would look good under this table, just because I always am looking for storage options. So another basket, maybe similar to like that one over there would look good under here, or I could even put that one under here just to see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to probably take the summery pillow off, keep the buffalo check, and then just kind of switch out for some more fall like things. All right, so the last space and the biggest space that you know usually I end up decorating besides the living room is the kitchen. So a few things on the wall I might be switching out. And then if you remember when I did my spring decorate with me video, if you guys have been um, around since I did that last year or last season, um, I did some kind of like summery and springish stuff on tops of my cabinets. So some of this stuff I specifically picked neutral items, but like that Ray Dunn um, what is this, like a watering can? It's super pretty, but that's obviously very spring summer, so that will be coming down. But other stuff that is like more neutral can stay up here. So I'm just gonna have to use what I have to kind of switch stuff out and make it look a little more fall-like or just neutral. Neutral, I think, is probably better. So I will be doing that. And then over here where my coffee station is, um, I have a tiered tray, which right now just kind of like is a hodgepodge of random stuff. So I will be completely decorating that for fall. Very, probably very similar to what I did last year. I will also link my fall clean and decorate video from last year. It is probably my most watched video on YouTube. And I'm really hoping that my decor this year turns out as great as it did last year. But I love, absolutely love the fall tier tray that I did. And then over on the kitchen table, um, I do have like a runner, like that runner that I showed you and tablecloth. So I've got, I've got like different options. And then I always do like some kind of centerpiece or something. But now I have this sign above the table, which I didn't have last year. So I do feel like that kind of helps add a little something extra to this area that, you know, I haven't had in a while. And then I've got this little miniature hutch over here that just kind of needs some fall refresh. So if you guys have been seeing any spaces in this little like walk around that I've been doing that you think like, oh yeah, for sure that would go great here, then please let me know in the comments because it really does help me so much and you guys have so, so, so many great ideas. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are excited, just like I am for some fall decorating, then please make sure your bell notifications are turned on and you're subscribed because my fall decorate with me will be up probably very, very soon within the next week or two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys again real soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.